Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm back. Welcome to week three, you guys. Um, thank you for coming back to my channel so you can keep up with my journey. I don't know if I'm gonna have to break this week into parts, but we'll see. Today, I don't know what to expect in class, but obviously, let's hope that it's hands-on. If not, oh well. I'm still gonna have a great time. <laughs> Fingers crossed, hopefully we get our kids. Today we had a guest speaker. I'll talk to you guys about that later, but I did wanna give you guys two tips for when you're washing your clients. One, make sure you really get in there with the shampoo. This is a part of the service that your clients will always come back for, the part that they actually look forward to. So make sure you give them a really good wash. Tip number two, when you get to the conditioner, put it on the client's ends and ask them if they like conditioner on the top of their head. For example, I do not because my hair gets really oily. So just make sure that you ask your client, everybody's different. Shout out to my classmate for letting me wash your hair in the second half of class after the guest speaker. So it's the end of the day. Today we didn't get to do any hands-on activities, but we did have a guest speaker. And the guest speaker was from Booksy. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, I am not sponsored by Booksy. I'm only mentioning it to you guys because it was something that happened in school and I told you guys I would bring you along with me. Now, Booksy is an app that enables appointment-based businesses such as hairdressers and beauty salons to take online bookings and operate other aspects of their business which I think is super awesome, you guys. I love everything that they offer, and it's definitely something I would wanna use in the future. Now, as soon as I graduate cosmetology school, I do want to work from home. I'm not 100% sure if I wanna work for a salon, but when I do work from home, I don't think I will be using the Booksy service. But then once I do build my clientele, I do wanna rent out a suite, just because I don't feel comfortable having people I don't know come to my home. So I would definitely want to use Booksy. So yeah, that's all we did today. I don't have school tomorrow, so I will see you on Wednesday. Welcome to day two. So today in class, we're doing single process going darker. So we're going to section our girl Cassie into four sections and then go from there. After I sectioned off Cassie, I did have to go back and do zoom knots. From right on that scalp, they want to make sure that it's well saturated. We're going to place our hands and then we're just going to take this and we're going to roll this back and forth all the way to the end. Okay. Once we've got that, and we just want to kind of just press it all in there, make sure that it's all nice and covered. We want to make sure that everything is covered. If there's like little areas or this is too thick or too wide, what's going to happen is, is that it's going to be too cushioned and color may not get in that center part. So notice how thin that is. And if I would have placed my hand under here, I could see my fingers right through that, that slice there. But now watch my, this brush is designed in a way that is very hard, okay? It's not good for balayaging because you want to feather it, but it's good for when you're applying hair color because this is digging right in there and it's kind of like combing it. But when you apply this, I want you to roll that brush back and forth. That means you're rolling that hair and it's all being covered. Go in there with your fingers and make sure that everything is well saturated. Drop that and go on to your next one. Our turn. So as you can see, our teacher is super awesome, super nice. They demonstrate everything right before you do it. So it's not like, okay, this is what you're doing. Good luck. No, they do a whole demonstration. Um, I really love and appreciate my teacher, Alfred. He is very patient and answers all of our questions. Also, as you can see, even after our demonstration, our teacher comes and checks on us and sees how we're doing. Thank you. 
So we didn't get our kit today, but we did get our books. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what we got. We got a Be Nice or Else book. Seems like a good read. I'm excited to read it. These are our skill cards. Every haircut that we're gonna be doing, they're gonna be shown there. We got a business book, Business Fundaments. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this, but I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot to read. Anyways, so we also have the cutting book and we have the coloring book and the barbering fundamentals. These are workbooks you would have to complete if you wanted to be in the honors program. Next we have is the hair color pocket guide, the color CD, the cutting CD, and the barbering CD. So ready for that. This cute little bag and our very heavy milady textbook. This is what the hair color pocket guide looks like. Cute, right? After getting our textbooks, we took Cassie to the wash house and we rinsed her off so that we can give her a nice blow dry. So there's a specific way they want us to do it during core. You have to do it straight down. Um, I have to say my teacher had to keep coming to me and telling me like, no, Leilani, straight down. And unintentionally, I just kept doing it to the side like you see in the video. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. It just felt more natural to do. But yeah. She's all done. All right, you guys. So we actually did a lot yesterday, which is fun. I love hands-on activities. I think that's the way I learn best. We learn techniques on how to apply color. If the client wants to go darker, we separate Cassie into those four sections, and then we start from the back and work our way to the front. And then we wash Cassie, and then we did a quick blow dry. So I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. I really enjoyed it. It was fun. So <laughs> we got our books yesterday. Um, I found out that we are not getting our kits until after core, which that is not until mid-October. But, you know, that's okay. I'm, I'm okay. I'll get through this. <laughs> In our cute little bag that we got for school, we actually got this book that I am actually really excited to read. I think I'm going to learn a lot from it. Um, also, you know, our teacher was like, dude, it's a great read. You're going to learn a lot from it. And it's called Be Nice or Else. And what is in it for you? So this is the book. When I do start to read it, I will let you guys know, you know, cool facts about it and stuff. So, yeah. See you guys inside. So today we're doing almost the same thing as yesterday, but this is the single process going lighter. We're still starting in the back, but we're just coloring the mid shaft. So an inch away from the base. <laughs> Thank you. 
After finishing all four sections, we go back to the section we started at and we start coloring the roots. She's all done. For the blow dries, we section Cassie off into three sections. Pre-dry, doing the flat wrap. So after pre-drying, we section Cassie off into five sections, um, two on the side and three in the back. And we start off in the middle. After doing the three in the back, we do the two front sections. I was doing it towards the front trying to see what results I would get. Um, if when I brushed her back, I would get like a volumized hair, I guess. But we'll see. Like I said, at this point, I was just blow drying her different ways to see what kind of results I would get. Um, and then I was kind of blow drying with cold air to mold it. And this is the result I got. Definitely got a little bit of volume and I'm looking forward to cutting these ends. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Yesterday we did single process going lighter. So the day before yesterday, we did single process going darker and the difference between that going darker we don't necessarily have to worry about different colors coming out in the hair obviously doing the four sections um, and just going just doing everything so starting from the back starting in the back you color the whole thing so from the base which is what we would normally call the root um, you just start coloring. So you start little section by section, making sure you're combing the brush through um, the hair to make sure you get all the all of the hair. Um, and then for the light processing, we actually start coloring an inch away from the base just because our body radiates heat. And if we were to color from the base to the end of the hair, we would actually have a ring. We radiate so much heat 
that we need to do it an inch away and then once we finish the four sections then we go back to where we started and we color in the base and we make sure we get both sides just like I did in the video so today we are coloring in our grays um, we actually start in the front for this because the grays are a little tougher to break down um, I kind of messed up here and you'll see right now I realized it oh crap <laughs> um, we're actually supposed to go through all four sections and color like this Wrap her back up and then move on to the other sections. Once we finish doing that, then we go back to where I left off. Coloring from the base to however much we have to cover for the grays. As you can see, I'm taking really small sections because I want to make sure I saturate every hair because if we leave a gray out, then you're going to see it. I skipped over showing you guys the wash and the blow dry that I did the past three days um i decided to do beach waves on cassie and this is the process <laughs> Right, but not the best I've definitely learned from then to now how to properly do beach waves all right you guys so that was week three I hope you enjoyed it I'm sorry it was such a long video um, I'm also sorry it took so long but also not sorry because I needed to step away um, from YouTube just because I was struggling mentally um, because I guess I was intimidated by others and their Instagrams and their YouTube channels um, so I did lose a little bit of focus um, I just felt like I wasn't good enough and you know what I it took me a bit to just push that aside um, and just focus on me and that's what I'm doing now um, you know I'm human and I don't know um, <laughs> Sorry, um, but yeah, so I am back and ready to post some videos. Um, it is going to take me a while to get these videos edited. Um, now I know why people hire <laughs> others to edit their videos is because it's really time consuming. Um, I also only have four hours in between um, work and school and i have entered the honors program so i am doing that as well but yeah so i will see you guys for week four when i'm able to post it and yeah peace